This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. Two hours left to go in the trading week, and we got quite a strong market to finish it off, it looks like. S&P is right now positive by 29 points, trading at 29.47. You get the NASDAQ positive by 120 points, trading at 81.57, and the Dow up 208 points, trading 26,516. This all coming on the heels of quite a jobs number this morning, 263,000 jobs added for the month of April, non-farm payrolls, unemployment coming in at 3.6%, quite a number. Dollar index off 291 ticks, 97.295. You got gold up $10, 1281.50, and notes and bonds with slightly higher price and lower yield. Jumping over to the futures markets, we'll start it off with the Dow. Basically at session highs, 26,488, looking at the June futures contract. Quite a run up, and we've kind of been hanging at these levels for so the last hour hour and a half. We'll see if we get any volatility for the final two hours into the close. NASDAQ 100 session highs as well. 78.56. Early this morning, we were trading at 77.65 coming into that jobs number. So you're talking about 90, 90 NASDAQ 100 points from that level. S&Ps, much the same. There's your 830 bar, trading at 29.23. You're now looking at 29.47 in the S&P contract. Gold catching quite a bit as well. The fun begins at 8.30, trading at 12.69. We're now a solid $12 above that level with June gold trading at 12.81.45. Crude oil bouncing around a bit was above $62 from about 10.15 this morning, just back under that level as we speak, 61.94 in the price of June crude. And Euro US dollar getting a little bit of dollar weakness, Euro strength, Euro trading 111.91. In terms of what else you have happening out there, some of the most active stocks, Tesla getting a boost again. So yesterday revealed that they raised, they were going to raise $2 billion, that number coming in at $2.35 billion. Tesla, pretty remarkable, it's just at 230, we're now at 254. It's about a 10% jump, folks, in those two days, quite a number. Apple, some of the high flyers. This week, continuing up about 1.1% on that number. Google, that struggled with their earnings on Monday, getting a boost as well, up about 2% today. That chart may load, there you go. And Amazon, the giant up 3.2%. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now at the Power Training Hour. Tom O'Brien, live from 3 to 5. Have a great Friday.